Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint today. Ooh. We are doing oh. <laughs> so good. We're painting some playful chicks. So I want you to grab out your supplies so you can paint with us now. We're using a little bit different paint. If you've been with us before, we like to use watercolors. Today we're gonna to be using acrylic paint, which is a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna be using white, yellow, red, and this really pretty gold. You don't have to have gold. I just thought I'd maybe add some of that if I wanna add some texture. Now, oh, the other thing is you can either, if you have black paint, or I'm just gonna be using a regular pen to draw my eyes. So a black pen and then a paintbrush like we always have, you can use any size. I'm using a smaller one since my painting's a little bit smaller. And then we always have a cup of water and a paper towel. And then I wanted to introduce you to our cameraman. If you hear him in the back, this is... Hello. Keenan. <laughs> so he'll be painting with us today. So, playful chicks. I'm really excited about this one because if you have our box, if you flip to the back, I included some pictures. Aww. Some cute little pictures. Can they see that? Yes, they can. Okay. So, there's some pictures of some chicks. So, they are these cute, really small versions of chickens and we're going to paint them. Now, what I want you to do, the first step, let me flip this, is Decide how many you want to paint. I thought there, since we're painting on this more horizontal space, my eye kind of saw one, two, three. Maybe you just have two. Maybe you have four. Maybe you have a whole family of six, nine of them. Little chicks. Yeah, so you can make however many of you want. So what you're gonna do, the first step is, we're going to paint the heads of our little chicks. So I want to use yellow. So I have my yellow paint. Now, if you have watercolors actually, you can paint this with this as well. So I'm going to use open my yellow and open my white. So I wanna make my yellow, can I open this? There we go. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scoop out, I'm gonna put it on the palette right here. I'm gonna scoop out some yellow. I might need a good amount. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put that on my palette and then I wanna change colors. So whenever we change colors, we sweep the bottom of our water cup and then I'm gonna use my paper towel. And then I'm gonna to pick up, we don't need a lot of white, but I just want a little bit. And I'm gonna put it off to the side because when I paint, I'm gonna kind of mix it a little bit to get a couple different shades. So I'm going to get a really light yellow and then here's my darker yellow. Is that in the shot? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some paint. Now I want to do three chicks. So maybe if it helps you, you can either start. What would you do, Keenan? Would it help to start on the left one or in the middle one? If I'm right-handed, uh -huh. I would start on the left one. Okay. So that's a good point. If you are left-handed, maybe you start on the right side. That's a really great suggestion. So I'm going to draw a circle for one of my heads. Now, when you are doing this, they can be any size, but you'll notice, do you see how I drew it a little bit higher on this, on our canvas? Because we're going to be painting our bodies so they're gonna be taking more spot, more space at the bottom. So that's why we drew it a little bit higher. So I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna paint this in. So there's one, maybe this one is a little bit darker yellow. So I'm gonna paint one another one in the center somewhere. Now, they can be all chicks, maybe they're different ages. Ooh. So maybe that one's a little bit younger. Maybe I'll do one I That's think they're they're older. They're fi they're kind of fuzzy when they're new. Yeah. And I think as they get older, they develop more feathers, but those end up being a more brown or red mm. sort of color. That makes sense. Yeah. So you could do one. That's a little bit brown. At each phase. Oh, that's a cool idea. That'd be cool. It'd be tough, but I bet you could do it. You can do it. 
Okay, so that's the first step, is you're gonna paint the heads of your little chicks. Now, we are going to do the body. So, when we have our body, can you see how they're attached to our heads? Now, I want you to think about, just like you and me, chicks move around, so they might be at different spots. So maybe when you are painting them, maybe they're turned this way, so you see a different part of their body. Maybe they're facing you, so you see a different part. So when you are painting these, they can be any shape. So I don't want you to be so hard on yourself. I want you to just paint, and we'll see what happens. So when I have this guy, I'm gonna paint him, and maybe I'm gonna take up this whole space. So maybe I'll paint him like that. So he's kind of, Turn to the side then a little bit. So then when I paint, I'm gonna do all three of them and then show you a trick. So I'm gonna paint another one. Maybe he's facing me. So what happens is that it Kinda I looks see. like a ring right now. Oh, it does. <laughs> a gold ring. A ring pop. A ring pop. <laughs> Delicious. So now I'm gonna paint another one. So I'm gonna paint another circle. This one kind of has a bigger one maybe. So then the head's a little bit off to the side. Okay, now, here's a cool trick, is I want a little bit more white. And I don't have any water on my paintbrush, so it's dry, but I have picked up paint. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna draw the, the texture of the, the fur, fur, would that? Sure. Of the chicks. So when I do this, I'm gonna draw small strokes. And can you see how my hand's pushing and then lifting up? Yes. So maybe I want some more. This can be, if you want to add some gold, maybe there's some gold shimmery feathers. I'm just going to pick up a little bit, put it right there. So maybe you have some gold in there. So we're painting and you'll notice I didn't, I didn't really follow exactly my circle. I painted a little bit outside of it. So you can do that as well because the feathers, you have the body, but then the feathers sit on top of it. Oh, feathers, fur. Fur feathers. So we're doing that. Now, I want to show you how. Chickens grow fast. Yeah. So from zero to five weeks old, they go from what we're painting to like a teenager chicken. Zero to five weeks? Yes. Whoa. So these are baby baby chicks. Because when they're at five weeks, do they look different than this one? Yeah. Right? They look totally different. The, one I'm, the ones I'm looking at are like full-on birds. Oh, snap. <whistles> Hitting us with the fun facts. I know. So I added some gold. Now, when I'm looking at this, I like how, can you see how on mine I see some white spots? Yours might look like that. Maybe yours is all yellow. I want you to have fun with painting this, but I'm kind of using that to kind of look like the texture of the feathers. Okay, now we are going to add, oh, I didn't do this. So they have little, really little wings, right? Yep. Or Let's see, here's our little chicks. So they kind of have a really small wing. Their, their little tail's really small. Is that a tail? Would you say that's a tail? I'd yeah. I'd say it's a tail. Okay, so you can add little puffs as well to your circle. So maybe right here, maybe I just extend this a little bit more. It's just little, they don't need to be perfect. Maybe this one, I don't know. That kind of looks like Wings are ready, actually. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I really like that. Yeah, those look great. Now, if you look at this and you say, oh, I can't really tell where my circle is, because now it's actually interesting. Can you see when you look at these chicks? They can't really tell where their head is, right? No, not They at kind all. of blend into it. So I think that's really cool how we did that. If you want to add more texture, maybe you go in and pick up a little bit of gold and you add some texture Ooh, there. Oh yes. Our little chicks are very fun and shimmery. So can I tell you what the fluffy feathers are called? Yes. 
So they are feathers. The fur okay. is feathers. Okay. But when baby chicks hatch, they are covered with tiny, soft, fluffy feathers called down. Yeah, so this is actually really interesting because as it sheds, as they grow, it sheds and they use that for quilts and blankets. I was going to say down blankets. Yeah, so they say Whoa. down helps keep them warm. It can help keep, it can keep us warm too, which is why quilts and coats are often stuffed with down. As they grow older, chicks grow bigger feathers called contour feathers. Fun fact. Super fun fact. Whoa. Okay, so we just painted the down feathers, right? Yep. On our little chicks. Yeah. That are now they're warm. Zero to, that are not five months yet. Five or five weeks. weeks. Yeah. That's Whoa. super cool. Whoa. Okay, so now I want to... What's our next step? We need to add some legs to our little chicks. So we do not have orange, but guess what? We can make orange. So I already have some yellow on my palette actually, so I might use some of that. Maybe we'll add a little bit more yellow. But I have my yellow here and I'm gonna change colors. So I want to clean my brush. Let me move this over here. And I'm gonna open up my red. And so red and yellow make orange. So I just want a little bit of red. I'm gonna mix it in. Oh, then that we got is a pretty color. our orange. So does this picture, yes. So looking at this picture, you'll see these are the legs that we're drawing. Now, do you see how there's one line that's coming down and then there's the three, I wonder if they're called toes. Talons. Talons? Okay, the three talons that come off. So that's what we're going to be drawing here. So that's why on our drawing, you'll see the same three talons. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna draw a line. So there's two legs. So one leg and two legs. And then we're gonna draw three lines at different spots. So they're coming out so they look like they're walking. Oh, nice. So we got three, pick up more orange. I didn't know they were called talons. Well, so I Googled chicken talons. Okay. And it says chickens don't have talons oh. so much as just claws. Oh, they're claws. Yeah. So who is talons? Birds. Oh. I oh. Think. Okay, so I wanted to show you on this one, I don't know if you saw this, if you want to make it look like it's walking, I think that's what I did. My imagination saw where it was kind of bending a little bit. So that's why that one's angled. So if you want to try that. Chickens use their claws for defense from predators trying to eat their little chicks. Mm. So we got those. Yeah, check. Now. The beaks are also orange of our chicks. So since we have our orange, let's paint that as well. I would like to point out that at this stage, the chicks look like they're not looking at us. Oh, is it like they're behind us? Yes. <gasps> Maybe one of them is. That'd be cool. Okay, which one? Maybe the one that's leaning on the far right. This way? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's just like, like, he's like scoping hey. out. Maybe he's closer to us, but looking at the other two because he's bigger. Oh. Atmospheric perspective. Good idea. Okay. So then he, this one won't, Keenan will make up a story towards yeah. the end. Yes. Okay. So this one won't have a beak. So I'm going to add a beak to these other ones. Now, the beaks are triangle shapes. So triangles have three sides. So I'm going to draw a line. And then another line that's a little bit angled, and a third line that connects, and color that in. Now, you'll notice that I drew them a little bit lower. So the beaks, if we're looking at our chicks, they're a little bit lower on the faces. So that's why we drew them right there instead of really high. Now, I want to add one more. Let's draw this one. So let's see, I think. This one is looking this way, and my imagination sees this one looking this way. So maybe I'll draw the beak. There's one line. I'm gonna draw the beak facing that way. Can you see that? Can you imagine how we're gonna draw the eyes right there? 
Yes. So it looks like they're looking at each other. Talking. Yeah. So this is how cool it is. By just changing a little part of it, you're creating a whole story and a whole world. So Keenan suggested that we are not, this, this one we're seeing the back of him. So I'm gonna leave that there. Can you make a tuft of feathers to show his little tail? Oh, good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna change colors. Maybe it's a little orangey yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough. So I'm just gonna mix in. I have that color there, so I'm gonna just grab some of that. Maybe some gold, why not? So, let's see. If he is looking right there, the tuft would be somewhere on the back right here. Or maybe it's down lower. Yeah, that's a good spot. So I'm just kind of adding some lines. We're using our imagination. That work? Yeah, that's perfect. Great. Good idea. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Now, we actually are almost done. What? I know it doesn't feel like it right now. But what I want you to do is I want you to close your gold yellow and your red and we're just going to leave the white for the very end but i just want to make sure that i don't accidentally knock these over so i'm going to close these up now i want you to grab a black pen of any sort they don't need to be a specific one because we are going to draw our eyes now these two are talking to each other so i wonder what we can have them say or what expression they're saying. Are their eyes open? Are their eyes closed? Is one winking? Do I have my box here? So we actually have this, if you have our box, your paint will come in this box. And there's a few different ideas that you can gather from this of inspiration. So this one's winking, this one's smiling with some eyelashes. So we get to decide how we want our eyes to look. Now. I drew one where I really like this one where they're smiling. Where they're like. I do too. <laughs> so I think I might make this guy doing it. This one, what should I have? Should I have his eyes open? Does that look hmm. sound good? Ooh, what if the one's smiling because the other one winked at him? Oh. So it was like, ah. Okay, so this one's winking. So we have chicks also have two eyes. So I'm gonna draw a circle, one on the left. And I'm just coloring on top. One on the right, so I'm just coloring in black. Oops, he was winking. That's okay, he already winked and now he's looking to see if the reaction. <laughs> I, I just got really excited yeah, when I made it. That's, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, well, this one is smiling. So to do the smile one is I'm gonna draw two curves. So one on the left and one on the right. Maybe, this is a girl. I'm gonna give her some eyelashes. Oh, nice. I have long eyelashes. That's true. Girls and boys, we all do have eyelashes. I think I was just thinking of of a girl in that situation. Maybe the so wink. This is a girl. Uh huh. Yep. That's why the gr the boy winked at the girl. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that part, and then he doesn't have his eyes because we see the back of his head. Now the last part is. We have, when you look at eyes, and we've learned this before, where the light is shining on our eye, and there will be this white light. It's a really small white light, and that's called a reflection or a highlight. So we have white paint. So I want you to go and grab your paintbrush again, and just dip the tip in. We don't need a lot, so can you see how I just dip the tip in? And I'm just going to add a really small highlight dot. So I'm go bloop right there so we just added that little one. Oh, that's so cute that is super cute it's shimmering okay now i just thought of another idea because this is how we roll is are your chicks talking to each other and what are they saying or what are they thinking Ooh. maybe what so i want to show you is there's a think bubble and there's a talk bubble did you know that no like when you read comic books yes or in my mind maybe i'm making this up which we're gonna go with it cool. is i want you to grab a pen so is this one saying something and she's thinking or is he the other way around maybe he's saying something nice complimentary okay so He's saying something, so I'm gonna draw a 
think bubble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a V that's kind of pointing at his head at any point. You can draw it at any point. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curve so it's a bubble around it and connecting at any point. They can be any shape. So this one is where he's thinking. Mm. Now as Keenan thinks of what he's saying, oh, he's giving a compliment? Yeah. Okay. What is he saying? I like your eyelashes. <laughs> okay. So you can write Nice that. eyelashes. Nice eyelashes. So you can write that there. Then, so she's thinking something. She hasn't said anything yet. She's thinking about what she's going to say is when I think of think bubbles, I think of them as circles that oh. are coming up. And then my brain sees it more of a cloud. Yes. So I think of them as I'm going to draw these curves. So it's like it's a cloud thought bubble that come around and connect like that. Oh. That is adorable. What is she thinking? Hmm. That's nice. <laughs> Wait, he already said nice eyelashes. Oh, that's, nope, that's kind? Oh, uh, yeah. Huh? This guy. <laughs> that's what she's saying. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Smiley face. There. Perfect. Now, what is this one? Is he saying or thinking something? Well, his name's Jeff. Jeff. What is Jeff? Is he saying something? Jeff sees that Tom and Charlotte are talking. <laughs> and he's like, well, dang, I need to go hang out with them. She's looking like she's happy. So he must have said something funny. And I want to see what's going on. How do I condense that into something to fit right here? Gotta get a laugh. <laughs> what? Uh, Is he saying this my or friends. thinking it? Okay. Is he thinking this or Maybe saying he's it? he's yelling it. Okay. Oh. He's like, friends. So, I'm trying to think what it would he look like. He has news for them, maybe. Maybe there's a new egg hatchery coming. And he wanted to spread the news. Friends! So can he just be friends. saying friends? Friends, yeah. Okay. Friends, in all caps, because he's yelling it. Friends! And then maybe I'm going to add lines, so it's really emphasizing it. Yes. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Now you have a whole story that you can tell with what your chicks are doing. Isn't that fun? That is so nice. <laughs> okay, now we're done. This is so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this. This shows that art is a beautiful, powerful thing that you can use your imagination and just paint something on a piece of paper. That's all this was. Just paper and paint and you made this happen. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Please share with it, us what you did. And always remember that you are brave, kind, and very creative. And we'll see you next time.